Good evening, boils and ghouls, and welcome to another delicious dollop of dread which we call Crypt Discussions. I am your master of ceremonies for these dead time stories, Jonathan, and tonight, Creeple, we are going to address a misinformation meme that has been known to go viral for the past few years, which we want to lay to rest once and for all. So, how many times have you seen this meme? If you are a Chucky and Crypt fan, you more than likely have come across this far too often. But you may ask, why is this meme such an issue? If you are generally knowledgeable in regards to the production of the show and the Crypt Keeper puppet, you know that the Crypt Keeper's creator is world-renowned special effects and makeup artist, Kevin Yeager. Kevin Yeager is also known for numerous milestones in various mediums of film and media, including Nightmare on Elm Street, Sleepy Hollow, the Bill and Ted franchise, Man's Best Friend, Face Off, and of course, the Child's Play franchise up until Bride of Chucky. Now obviously, the clear parallel that these two share is the fact that their creator is the same man. But a fun little piece of trivia was dropped in interviews with Jaeger that have him state that he utilized Chucky's eyes as filler for the Crypt Keeper. Through the decomposition process of the Crypt Keeper having a hooked nose, as stated in the official archives, Jaeger's decisions of the eyes and removing the hooked nose after a very thorough and in-depth start to finish process resulted in the Crypt Keeper design we all came to love. Now, my issue with this meme is that it has been spread like a vicious wildfire of herpes, and that is the best expression I can really use to explain it, saying that the Chucky doll was stripped and reused as the Crypt Keeper for season one of Tales from the Crypt. They kept the eyes attached, and so the Crypt Keeper has Chucky's eyes. And that, my best fiends, is absolutely 100% false. This insinuates and implies that the Crypt Keeper was entirely created out of a good guy doll, which is virtually impossible, and I am here to tell you why. Now, I am not in the business of creating special effects or animatronics, but common sense would say that if you have extra parts like servos, eyes, or any additional mechanisms in your shop to make an effect or animatronic work, obviously you save money and use it, correct? It's comparable to having extra nails or screws in your house to install a wall mount or shelf on your wall instead of going out to buy more. But let me get right back into this. How do I know that this is false? Let me start with Exhibit A, which for all sense and purposes, this would be the only evidence I would actually need in my case. Kevin Yeager's personal statement in addressing this. Now, I've had arguments with a few people, one in particular who claimed he was in this industry, to where this meme is 100% validated because he once had team members of his work on the Crypt Keeper. Mind you, he provided no proof of this and he even went as far as to try to discredit Jaeger and call him a liar in regards to his process of building the Crypt Keeper. But I digress. I actually asked Jaeger directly almost two years ago and in a sheer stroke of luck, I was graced and humbled by receiving a response to my question, to which I specifically asked, Hey, Mr. Jaeger, my apologies for bothering you, but I just want to confirm one thing about the Crypt Keeper puppet. Is there anything else that was used to create the Crypt Keeper utilizing good guy doll parts, or is it simply just Chucky's eyes that were used? I have only seen or read from your interviews and posts that it's just the eyes, and which he follows up with, Hi, Jonathan. Yes, just Chucky's eyes were used. Everything else was created from scratch. Now, I'm not the sharpest knife in a torture dungeon, but if I were a betting man, I would easily go with the statement of the accredited and obviously successful special effects creator, especially one who has had much more exposure and time with the series with the Crypt Keeper's wraparounds. The Crypt Keeper, as stated by Jaeger, was in fact his brainchild to where he designed it from paper to sculpture and finally to a mechanically and reanimated pop culture phenomenon of the 90s era. One would easily like to think that this is all the evidence that you would need, but for some, unfortunately, that isn't enough. So let me tack on to that Exhibit B. Overall design. Now the Chucky Good Guy doll was created for 1988's Child's Play. With the release in November of that year, Kevin Yeager and his team were just coming off the success of that film's release, but were immediately drawn in to create a whole new creature by Joel Silver and his partners for an upcoming HBO series. 
one that was soon going to be dug up and make a gruesome impact on premium cable. Jaeger and his team were tasked to create the Crypt Keeper, and with his previously mentioned statement, the Crypt Keeper's overall structure was based on taking numerous aspects of not just the EC Comics Crypt Keeper, but also the Vault Keeper and the Old Witch, which is also mentioned in the Season 2 DVD featurette. Sketches from the official archives written by Digby Deal back this statement up, as we see the clear inspiration that Jaeger had when it came to the start of the build, but we progressively see the change of concept for what we eventually would see in the final stages. Simply examining the skull structure of both puppets shows several distinct differences between the two of them. Jaeger's good guy has a much more rounded and fuller face. The mechanical skull understructure for cheeks and eyebrows in comparison to the Crypt Keepers are nowhere near the same. While the Crypt Keeper has an elongated jaw and thicker cheekbones to compensate to have a much more deeper grin or sneer. The Crypt Keeper's skull also has an extension in the back to give a much more accurate depiction of an actual skull, since he is in fact a living skeleton as well as to make additional room for more of the servos that had to be installed and used. This extension is bridged to the front piece of the skull where Chucky does not have this. Going beyond that, the Crypt Keeper's performance is not executed in the same manner that a good guy doll is executed. In many of the behind the scenes moments where we see how Chucky is operated by Jaeger's team of puppeteers, he is in fact a fully wired and constructed animatronic that is manipulated in various ways through controllers. Whereas the Crypt Keeper is essentially just a head and torso puppet whose lower limbs are hidden in many upon many shots. Utilizing a puppeteering method that Jim Henson once used for the Muppets, a puppeteer would wear gloves that would represent the Crypt Keeper's hands and arms to provide a bit more realistic and fluid animation to the performance working in tandem with trick photography. This is why you hardly see the Crypt Keeper in a full wide shot, unless his legs are completely static and if you do see him walking from scene to scene, we only see him from the waist up, aside from that one moment in Demon Knight. In each episode, we see the Crypt Keeper sitting in his chair in most segments. When this is happening, there are puppeteers hidden behind and under him behind his table to work various parts of his head and arms. Just overall comparison of behind the scenes footage of Chucky from the Building a Nightmare segment of the Child's Play Blu-ray and Sci-Fi's Jaeger featurette of Tales demonstrate these differences clearly. And if you don't take my word in regards to any of that, you can also compare what they look like in terms of height. If nothing else possibly convinced you, please let it be this. So in conclusion, boils and ghouls, the entire purpose of this video was to educate you all on these two legendary figures of the 90s era of horror. And although they are very much different, they do see eye to eye on plenty of important matters. And since their inception, they will always be dead friends till the end. That wraps up our dead time story for tonight, kitties. What did you think of tonight's tale? Did you love it or hate it? Let me know what you all thought deep in the catacombs of the comment section and help me out to spread this diseased little ditty out to the rest of our community by liking and sharing this video to other fans of the series. Oh, and one minor note, I am trying to help raise awareness and donations to the United Way of the Plains organization to assist in recovery and relief of those who lost their homes due to the tornado that devastated the city of Andover, Kansas. Many families have lost their livelihoods due to this terrible disaster, so if you can help, please go to www.unitedwayplains.org slash disaster dash response slash tornado dash relief dash efforts, or text teamwork, one word, no spaces, to 41444, and help out in whatever way you can. If you can't, please show your support and try to send this information to as many people as possible. Thank you to you all, and with that said, this is your pal Jonathan, wishing you all a very safe and happy week. Good night and pleasant screams.